everybody. Todd Metal at Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So we're towards the middle of the month. And for the, anyone that's a regular, you know what that means. It is time to take a couple looks at September here. This is the first two looks before we close out the month. And as you can see, we're still pretty much seeing what we've been seeing on these outlooks recently. A lot of above average temperatures still to be expected. Still have a couple areas where we have equal chances. Not much in the way of below average temperature chances unless you're over towards Western Alaska right now. There are a couple other things that the models are kind of showing that are interesting to me, but also we're starting to see things a little bit drier out towards the Southwest. And even the above average precipitation is kind of falling off a little bit where we're seeing a little bit higher probabilities early in the year, especially towards the beginning of summer towards the Southeast. Those probabilities have uh, mainly shifted towards Florida here. Not to say that the Gulf Coast and the East Coast itself won't see above average chances of rain, but pattern does look like it's slowing down ever so slightly. There is even a tiny little pocket in the Northwest here also that is starting to see above average precip chances. And that's gonna have a large, and the large part of that's gonna have to do with the La Nina pattern that we've fallen into here. So we ended up getting into a La Nina pattern just after July started here. As you can see, based off this indicator here, August, September, October, we're well above that uh, negative 0.5 degree threshold here. We're gonna continue to drop in to it a little bit further as we go into September, October, and November as we go further along. So usually what that will mean whenever we have a La Nina fall and winter is these storm tracks will be more so off to the north, but uh, it's not that we still can't get cold blast or big systems to go through the southern part of the U.S. here, but it's a lot less frequent when we have the La Nina set up. So if you're looking for snow chances over towards the southeast, not necessarily killing any hopes for that, but the probability is a tad bit lower. If we go ahead and look at models here, you'll kind of see a couple of interesting features in particular. When we're looking at this model, we look at oscillations here and we're also looking for stratospheric heating. When it warms up over here towards Western Alaska, or we have that um, higher pressure over here, usually you'll see a little bit of cold air come in from the Arctic. And depending on uh, conditions here, we can always end up seeing this, this push a little further to the south. And there could be a couple of cool blasts as we move forward from here. We're expecting one this week, of course, it's not going to be major, but it's definitely going to feel a little different. It's going to feel a little bit more like fall. We haven't reached fall yet, of course. Then as we go further along, we get this high pressure to come back in over Canada. And this is going to help keep things pretty warm over the, the uh, lower 48 here. And then as time goes on, we start to see a little bit of a leveling out of pressure over here towards the Arctic. And also towards and also towards the uh, North Atlantic oscillation here. So as a whole, if we were to look at the month of September, we could be dealing with a little bit of a flip flopping here. For the most part, I still expect it to be above average, just like the outlook is predicting as well. But I do think there are going to be a couple periods here and there sprinkled in where we get a couple of cooler than average days. I think to start the month will probably be the coolest part of the month as it stands right now. Keep in mind that we're trying to look over a 30 day period when we're not even starting the month yet. So things are very much prone to change at this point. We'll be doing a follow up video at the very end of the month here. Now, as we go into the temperature anomaly, this is what our departure from average is looking like, whether it's above or below here. So if we go back to what we can expect over the last week of August here. Here's our little uh, cool down over here, over towards the eastern half of the US, over towards the mid-Atlantic and towards the northeast is where we have the greatest probability of cool and average temperatures, of course. And we could be seeing potentially up to about maybe close to 10 degrees, maybe even 15 degrees below average here. Same can actually even be set out west here. A lot of you guys are gonna be enjoying that. Unfortunately, if you live in the center of the country, though, you're still pretty well above average. It's still going to be pretty hot. As time goes on, though, 
you start to see that warm air build back in. That's where we get that high pressure over towards Canada once again. So we move further along into the month, especially this first week here. So as time goes on, we get that heat to kind of build. And then all of a sudden it starts to fall off a little bit. And this is where I'm thinking that we get those little um, those little cold shots sprinkled in here and there. It looks like at this point we did get a little miniature cool down over towards the northeast. And this is around the middle of September. And notice we aren't having as high of an above average temperature um, anomaly here. We're still we could still expect maybe 10, maybe even 15 degrees above average in some spots, but definitely not seeing those sharp pinks and above where we could get like 20, 30, even 40 degrees above average here for some of these areas. So we continue to go forward. That trend kind of holds too as we get towards the very end of the month here. As far as precipitation is concerned, that's up for a it's up for debate obviously hurricane season is a big wild card still expecting a lot in the way of activity right now so kind of questioning as to uh, kind of questions in regards to how this pans out for the gulf coast and southeast it really just depends on that uh, upper level pattern over towards the atlantic right now right now there's a lot of dry air as well which is going to help kind of hamper tropical activity a little bit it may not stop it though we'll have to see how things progress as we go forward but if we get into that first week into September here, it does look like it's a bit drier than average for a large part of the country. There's only a couple areas here and there where we see above average probabilities of precipitation. It's mainly going to be towards Florida and then maybe towards the far reaches of the southwest here and maybe the eastern part of the Rockies. And that's going to continue to be the case as we get to the first half of the month here. As we get towards mid-September here, we start to see a little bit more in the way of activity towards the Gulf Coast, even getting up towards the Carolina coast. As time goes on, though, it does kind of look like the dry pattern holds. Eventually, the northeast starts to get a little bit more busy as time goes on. The storm track in regards to this time frame here is a little bit shrouded in mystery for me personally as we get towards the end of the month here but the trend has been over the last couple of months is that we do get these tiny little dips in the jet stream and sometimes they make it south of the border here into the lower 48 or they stay around in canada but sometimes we'll get the we'll get clipped by these uh, adjacent storms here the northeast has really been the beneficiary of that and sometimes it's not they don't really get the feeling because sometimes there's severe weather but great lakes and the Northeast could be a point of interest as we get towards the end of the month here. Well, in any case, though, this is the first of two outlooks. Of course, we'll be talking about this further as we get towards the end of the month, as after mentioned here. Also, be on the lookout since we're getting closer to fall. Another outlook's coming with that soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you on the very next one. Until then, take care and have an awesome rest of your day.